Hello and welcome to this Colorware video tutorial. My name is Daan van Adrichem and I will guide you step by step throughout this tutorial. Different processes, different materials, different conceptions, different values. Every printing company operates in a different way and therefore uses different views to secure the printed quality. This fact causes an enormous amount of custom color bars used in this sector. PressView provides you with a standard set of color bars, but more important, enables you to compose your own. This instruction video shows you how. Before you can start making your own custom color bar, make sure that you already have a physical version and the exact reference values. There are basically two kinds of color bars, ones with ink zones and the ones without. On the basis of our Colorware Generic QA color bar, I will show you how to build your own color bar. This Colorware Generic QA color bar can be found in the quick start documents provided. Although this color bar does not hold any ink zones, I will explain how to work with ink zones as well. In your PressView home screen, click on the color bar editor module. The color bar editor window displays the already available color bars in the upper half of the window and, if a color bar is selected, the details of that particular color bar in the bottom half of the window. You can use the five dots in the center to adapt the window proportions. Start creating your own custom color bar by clicking the add button at the lower right side of the window. The to be created color bar needs to be clearly recognizable for future use so please provide distinguishable information. To make sure that the color bar is measured correctly with your measurement device, the patch width and height are very critical. Measure the printed patch dimensions of a proven physical color bar with a ruler in millimeters and fill in the exact values. In this case, Colorware Generic QA color bar consists of only one row and contains no repeats. Once given all the information, hit next to continue. This seemingly complicated window is by far not as complicated as it looks. It will take just a moment for me to explain. The color bar patches area of the window is where the color bar is created. All buttons directly below help you to easily compose your own custom color bar. The patches area of the window contains all of the available patches for creating your custom color bar. The KCMY columns provide a standard set of commonly used values for you to pick. Use the buttons with an asterisk to set your own value for that color and choose your value from the list. Slur is a term for mechanical deviation of the press itself. To detect this behavior, you can add a vertical or horizontal slur patch. Use the Add Color button if your color bar needs one or more spot colors. For the creation of an extra color, it's not important which color is used. It only serves to determine the patch position for the extra color on the color bar. When setting up the actual press view job with this color bar, you can select any spot color you like for this extra position. The last few buttons are of course for paper white, gray balance and overprint. The gray balance patches for highlight, midtones and shadows can only be picked in the currently supported formats. Use the quick start document to view the supported formats table for gray balance patches. You can also create a custom reference patch. Pick a color from any other reference or color book you have imported or created in the color libraries module of PressView. Even though PressView provides a lot of patch options, your specific patch can maybe not be created. In this case, please contact Colorware support so we can add your specific wishes. So now, let's build ourselves a Colorware Generic QA color bar. Because this is a fairly simple color bar and I know all the patches by heart, this might go a bit fast for you. Just for fun, I will add an extra color and show you how the color will be substituted in the actual job setup later on. Before I will save the color bar, I will show you how to work with ink zones. The number above the just created color bar shows the number of the ink zone. The numbers beneath the color bar indicate the color composure. 
Click the checkbox for new ink zone to create a new ink zone. Continue with adding patches for this new ink zone. You can shift ink zones by using the double arrowed buttons to the ink zone numbers you would want to measure. When a patch is selected, use the copy button to just copy the selected patch or the repeat zone button to copy the complete ink zone at once. The radial buttons for insert patch and replace selected speak for themselves. When you're all done composing your custom color bar, hit the save button. Back in the color bar editor window, you can find the just created custom color bar. When setting up a new job, for instance in the process control module, you can select the color strip just created. Because I added an additional color to the color bar, I can now select the color I would like to use on these positions. You have been watching a Colorware video tutorial on how to create a custom color bar. For more information, please visit our website, colorware.eu.